So, uh, a couple things I do want to say before you jump into this. For the love of God, if you haven't done it already, get good with Naruto. Just, just like, not no transformations, no bullshit. Just straight up Naruto himself. Just get decent with him. Like, know how to do combos. I will show you how to do fucking combos with Naruto. He is pretty good. So anyway, let's just jump right into this and uh, see what kind of damage we can do. And this is it. This is literally just four fights. That's it. And, uh... You could press square to get a detailed outline about the thing because apparently it was so compressed. They gave you a Cliff Notes version of it. Uh, basically, I'm going to press square for every single one of these chapters as I get to it. Pause the video at your leisure and go about reading it as you will. Me, I'm not going to dwell too much time on each one because, you know, that takes take a little bit too much time. And with that, it's time for the show to begin. Woo! Okay. So basically... <laughs> Uh, I think this is the only chapter that has like a full-on like intro. I don't remember if Ultimate Ninja 2 had one. I think it did, but it wasn't that crazy. And the Nine-Tailed Fox is looking... Ooh, he is... Hmm. Glowy as hell. Then again, most things in this game glow. It's actually hilarious. And I think that's the most detail the 4th of Kage has ever had up to this point. It's actually pretty impressive. Does anyone else remember like the early renders of the Fourth of Kage and like character face portraits? He, he looked really bad. He looked terrible, bad, terrible and bad, terrible bad. Like the I like the word. Just to be certain, it's human. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like he had a name or anything, right? <laughs> nah, totally not. Yeah, actually, um. So I haven't unlocked him yet, and that's actually a kind of a really big mechanic that, or a really big feature. I think this game actually makes it really unique. This is actually the, I could be wrong with this, but I think this is a video game debut of the fourth Okage, because I know right after, uh, the main series stopped airing, they actually did Kakashi Garden, which is like the Kakashi backstory, and uh, with Obito and Rin all all, all that junk, which. This is going to sound weird coming for me, but I actually have not watched that yet. That's kind of what happens when you stop airing a shot on Toonami. I can't watch any of it. Yeah, we're seriously going back this far. Pre-Academy days. This is awesome. We're going retro like a motherfucker right now. Can't say I have, no. You would never know where. Probably go Robin. Oh, he just graduated. Actually, I thought he stopped doing this shit after he graduated. Like, literally, I think he actually stopped that because, like, as soon as he graduated, he went right into Kakashi's team. Eh, I could be wrong. Wow, we're just blowing that little secret right from the word go, huh? You know, in case there's any doubt. The very definition, you know, okay, okay, uh, Togurama, no, not Togurama, what the fuck is his name, Hirozen, okay, Hirozen, let me be real here, as soon as you say that, you're basically asking to get your ass raided by Orochimaru, oh my god, that was the worst thing I could have possibly said right now, and I just said it, oops, anyway, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on a second, whoa. that's the only time I've seen Sakura with long hair this entire game, actually since Ultimate Ninja 1, Hmm. I can't put that actually bothered to do that. And I completely forgot to uh, press uh, square there, but you know what? I will get back to that in a minute. No worries. Don't worry, guys. I got you covered. So basically the same old, same old. This training, no one has ever passed this. Basically, I'm just pulling your leg, and if you actually just use teamwork, I'll actually let you pass. Oh my god, Sakura does have long hair in this. Weird. I wasn't aware I was just gonna be a test. Shit. I didn't study at all. Nine? Wait, where did nine come from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kakashi, and your blocky ass shadow. Oh, why do I even care anymore? These games are really bad with the shadows, oh my god. Booyah! 
Okay. So actually, I should um, talk about myself in this game a little bit. Uh, this is the one game that all my friends back in junior high and like early high school were always playing when it came to Naruto. Me, I was like, fuck that shit. I'm going to play more Class Ninja 2. Fuck you, losers. But uh, I got to say, after actually, um, yeah, I'll explain how to do that in a sec. Actually, actually um, sitting down and playing this game again, uh, it has a lot more depth to it than I thought I did at first. And it's actually not that bad. As opposed to all my dumb friends back in high school who just sat there and bat play match all day. Alright, so anyway, let me show you how to do that. D dash in, down square into the ground, uh, press triangle as soon as you land, and go right into your ultimate. Um, the, I noticed the frames are really lenient, so you can literally just do the uh, air combo, ground splat, and with the time they're in the air, you should have enough time to time at least uh, that somehow. I don't think that worked. Nah, I didn't have enough range. Also, really experiment with like uh, your ultimate's uh, um, execution range because where Naruto has like that one like elbow charge that's like the that goes into the uh, Shadow Clone Jutsu, uh, Uzumaki Barrage. Uh, he has the other one, which is like a giant Shoryuken, like going forward, but also on that upward a little bit, and does the nine tail Fox for on. So you definitely want to. You can adjust all these at will, and you can uh, really see what you can make, come up with in terms of ultimate attacks. Like the elbow one's a lot faster, but uh, the hitbox is a lot better on the nine on the, like the Shoryuken one. So if you want to do combos, um. I recommend you try to do combos off air throws, ground throws, um, forward air combos, forward ground combos, uh, low attacks, and neutral combo into down square attacks. Because all those will land you either a ground splat, a wall splat, or a tailspin. Tailspin you usually can't get a combo off of, but if you're able to... Um, if you're at the wall, you might be able to get a wall splat where you wouldn't be able to get on the field. So anyway, uh, pause the gate video here if you want to see what it says. Me, I don't really care that much. And time for this. Oh, actually, um, <laughs> there is one other thing I actually wanted to mention that for me kind of kills the experience in this a little bit, but it's taken me a few years to learn why they did it. Um, they kind of sort of nerfed the hell out or gimped the hell out of the ultimate attacks in the, in the series. What I mean by that is, um, you know how originally, like, press triangle once, and you can go into, like, a series of, like, three different attacks? Well, from now on, you're only able to select one of one jutsu, period. And from then on, you can only do it, that one attack. And it won't change to, like, multiple different attacks. <laughs> if you ask me, that uh, really sucks. Because that ruins the visual fidelity of the game. However, uh... You kind of came to a realization that, you know, maybe it's for the better because then you won't just be saying or you won't be blowing like a third of a match watching ultimate attacks. Yeah, you know. But I guess the fact that you can combo into your ultimate attacks kind of mitigates a little bit. You know, just a little bit. And there's some ridiculous attacks in this game, too. Oh my god, I need to show you the ultimate attack that Force Okage has. Jesus Christ. Tree nuke. That's all I need to say. Just tree nuke. It's awesome. There's no time. Actually, I think this is the first time we're actually illustrating this right now. Uh, Sasuke, uh, Naruto Sasuke against Haku. Because the ice mirror is bullshit. Sasuke moves unconsciously to protect Naruto. He is down. And Naruto's really angry. And Ninetale Fox ensues. That's, basically, that's more or less how it went. Uh, yeah. By the way, we got new character portraits in this game. <laughs> for the uh, text boxes. Actually, text boxes have been hella changed. Oh, by the way, in-game cutscenes. Or, uh, pre-rendered cutscenes. You hurt my boyfriend! Whoa, I don't remember that chick cracking the ground. I don't remember this being equivalent to Ken. Jesus. Okay, so yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> you might be wondering what the hell you just saw. Uh, well, it turns out that Alternative 3 introduced um, some select uh, pre rendered cutscenes, CG cutscenes, whatever, how you want to pronounce how you want to put it. There's cutscenes in here now, and I think that's nice for the most part, except the pr overlying problem is that uh, they're so sporadically placed. Like, sometimes you'll get cutscenes like one area that should definitely get it. Like, if you ask me, like, Zabuza versus Kakashi. But it's just, we'll just be totally ignored. By the way, Nine Tails Naruto, Ultimate uh, Unlimited Chakra. So if you want to abuse Demon Dom, Doom, Wind Bomb, go ahead. Just do whatever you want. I said earlier that Chakra is a lot more difficult to maintain. So if you want to be a cheating dick like me, uh, go right ahead. <laughs> this is actually a very easy fight to win. If you uh, do this. Bye bye. <laughs> Goddamn Haku. By the way, I don't know if it's just because, like, I am kind of still have some really good stats on Naruto. I don't know if those stats actually carry over to the actual story mode because all your movesets are, like, pre-selected. I don't know. I'm not too certain, in all honesty. All I gotta know is, um, yeah, these aren't too bad. Or these aren't too hard. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and Haku ascended to fruitliness. As my character portrait is telling me. By the way, Haku, you did not fucking die from Naruto punching you in the face hard enough. Get out of here. You died from having uh, Kakashi shoved a giant hole through your torso. Get out of here. Anyway. Fellas, if you want to read that. There we go. Now it's time for some good shit. Stop his move from gun. You know, I don't think it really matters. Uh, actually, this fight you can full on copy his opposite moveset, and it's everybody as awesome as you think it is. Also, I'm just realizing that we've never had the original render of, you know, that hit and miss bridge since the first game. It's missed, the hidden mist village, and there's no mist, it's just sunset. I don't know I'm going to this, but whatever. Uh, and sadly, Kakashi with Shrine Gon's character portrait, portrait has been hell unearthed. <laughs> Never! <laughs> oh my god, they also gimped the hell out of that cutscene, also. Damn it! Ah, they're just gimping the hell out of all this stuff. And then again, they're also. I don't know why they want to abridge the hell out of the Naruto plot up until now. Because, well, hey, I've done a pretty good job of that already. But also because, like. You know, the Sasuke retrieval arc was like the biggest thing at this time. You know, it makes sense to like put a lot more time and effort into that. By the way, that could wall split uh, if you're close enough to wall. Let me go over the wall. Or, you could do this. Lol. Yep. Uh, just like in Ultimate Ninja 2. Yeah, see how slow that charging is? That's ridiculous. Let me see if this works. Nah, it won't work. Down? I have a hell of a hard time doing comboing Kakashi's ultimates right away. There we go. Oh, that's a party. Yeah, you see what I mean. They reworked all these ultimates. re the hell out of them. New textures, everything. And I'm copying Zabuza, and this is fucking awesome. Unfortunately, do I have unlimited chakra? No, I don't have unlimited chakra. Anyway, let me try this. Cool. Dead. <laughs> God damn it. I wish I could just get Kakashi using Zabuza's sword as like a sep whole separate character. That'd be nice. Actually, this would totally be a thing. It is not a thing. I could just imagine that Kakashi with Zabuza's sword would just turn Del me cry. Totally needs to be a thing, by the way. Actually, someone should just mod Kakashi Musa to uh, be Zabuza's. That'd be nice. Phantom? Okay, and that is not how that happened, you fucking assholes. Uh, I'm over. <laughs> this battle has come to an end. Was obviously portrayed by his own master. Well, I guess uh, we illustrate that part. And we know it. <laughs> We're just floating all over these details like you wouldn't believe. Uh, this is, um. I'd be a lot more touched if I knew who these characters were. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. And this is the only time they've, they've implied heaven and hell. 
Sadly, after this point, Edo Tensei kind of removes that factor. And Pearlander is not heaven or hell either, because when they get Edo Tensei, they just get brought back. They're like, huh, we thought we were dead, but next we, we know we're here. We're, and we're Edo Tensei. I'm just like, Kishi, can you do that? Like, just not respect the memories of past characters you've done? Maybe? No? Asshole! I'm getting bored to work with this. I don't know. Very weird bromance. <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, it won't be nearly as awkward, but then again. Whenever I see Haku, I see woman. So, what do I know? Anyway, pause. You want to read that? And time for... And we're already halfway done with... Well, about to be halfway done with this. Leaf Destruction Arc. And, um... There's one important... You know, when I was about to do this, I was on the... Well, back when I was doing the live stream, actually. I, I was debating whether or not to actually do the entire story mode because you know it's just kind of there it's kind of just like a re loose retelling but just one reason later on i chose to go ahead and uh, illustrate all this you'll see why later but that let that be an indication as to why anyway buzz you want to read that da, 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 and time to go ahead and get this ritual going <laughs> i want your buddy sasuke no Five days later, I I want my body to be yours, Orochimaru. Oh, that's easy. Uh, if you're new to this channel, by the way, I like to make fun of the Naruto plot a lot, especially with Sasuke. <laughs> Very easy to fun him. And well, it's good to know Orochimaru's forehead has gotten buffed. Damn. He looks even more alien than he's ever have ever has. Yeah. Total bitch out right now. To be fair though, it is nice seeing Naruto smack talk Sasuke in this arc. Very good. Am I gonna fight Urjimaru for twice? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not necessarily complaining, but then again, uh, Urjimaru has got a bit of a change in that it they kind of combine sealed Urjimaru with regular Urjimaru. So like, he uses a sword, he has access to his arms, but he still uses some moves that Seal of the has, like, like the life drain attack jutsu. And like, some really weird gimped uh, attacks also, that's like breakdancing, just like Seal of the did. So he's kind of like this weird mismatch of like two different versions of a character. It's very strange. Oh my god, this is so easy. Remember, there's no restrictions on this either. Alright, you know what? Let me change up a little bit, actually. I apologize. I make this a little boring. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do my. L oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Suddenly throw. By the way, his throw range is sick. So, let me do my low attack into ultimate. This is fucking awesome and dumb. Oh my god. To any of my friends who might be watching this that played this back in the day, yeah, this game is kind of fucking busted. I just flat out body Rochimaru by doing repeated ultimate jutsus that came out of combos that were so easy to do. Oh my god. Uh, Zero Nigel, man. Uh, you're suggesting me to play as on hard mode? I'm kind of wishing I did. Or I'm kind of wishing I, I was doing that right now. But no, I'm keeping it normal so I can showcase just how fucking easy this game is. Literally. Um... <laughs> Ultimate Ninja 1, you've seen, uh, you've seen that game. That game has a really crazy AI at times, by the way, 5 Frong Steel. LOL. Ultimate Ninja 2, it had fucking Kabuto with, genera with Generation, it had Ninetales Naruto using, using Shizune. That game has such fucking busted mechanics in the story mode. This, pfft, LOL. Mm -hmm. Well, more specifically, you're tired to fuck out after after going ape shit on Rajmar after waking your Sharingan, or going to second stage Sharingan. But you know what? Whatever. I'm like the only person playing. I, am I the only person who's ever played these Naruto games that has cared about the continuity? You're at what I want. Uh. Mmm. Let me get a sip of that blood of yours. Mmm. Tasty. I'm not even sure myself. Yeah, he gave Sasuke the curse mark, but really, <laughs> come on. In the context of this game, it could be anything. 
or go insane from the power, you know, either or. <laughs> wow, Orochimaru. Actually, to be fair. Oh, wait, no, I was about to say, this is like the only time you fight Orochimaru in this game. Actually, <laughs> thinking, about, uh, thinking about objectively, I think that's actually.